this is late night. We hope you're doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. President Biden hosted a state dinner tonight for Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. And the menu included butternut squash soup and roasted beet salad, which is weird because I was under the impression that Australia was our ally. <laughs> beet salad. The House of Representatives voted today to elect Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House, and apparently this election result he will accept. <laughs> That's right, Republicans today elected Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House. Wow, the Speaker race was so embarrassing, they're not even giving their real names anymore. <laughs> Mike Johnson is the name you give when you check into a motel with your mistress. <laughs> That's what Spirit Halloween calls their Michael Jackson costume. <laughs> During the second secret ballot in last night's closed-door Republican conference meeting, former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy reportedly received 33 of the 34 votes cast against Speaker-designate Mike Johnson. Got to admit, it would have been pretty funny if after all this, Republicans had landed back on McCarthy. <laughs> it would be like matching with your ex-wife on Tinder. What? <laughs> We have a lot in common, our children, for example. <laughs> Trump 2020 campaign lawyer Jenna Ellis pleaded guilty yesterday to a criminal charge in the Georgia election case and cried while expressing regret for her actions. Wow, pretty stark contrast from her mugshot. <laughs> this photo looks like she also needed one for her Christmas card and didn't want to make two stops. In his testimony yesterday of former President Trump's civil fraud trial, ex-lawyer Michael Cohen said whatever issues Trump had, he, quote, would bring it to me in order to resolve, which explains why Cohen always carried a plunger. <laughs> a pest control company has unveiled its annual list of the rattiest cities, and New York City ranks third. We came in third. Who got... Who got first place, 16th century London? <laughs> a new study suggests that the moon is 40 million years older than scientists previously believed. Even crazier, John Stamos is 60. <laughs> According to a new survey, nearly one in four adults feel lonely, and more often than not, it's the drummer. Traffic on a highway in England recently came to a stop after an escaped pack of llamas and alpacas wandered onto the road. Said frustrated drivers, which ones are which? <laughs> and finally, according to a new book, McDonald's once tried to buy the chain Panera Bread. Wow, she spilled the tea about everyone in that memoir. <laughs> I told you that Panera thing in confidence. <laughs>